Greetings. So we've already mastered HTML, and so now we can create simple pages, fill them with the information that we need, and view them in the browser. So from this lesson on, we're going to start learning a new part, CSS. And CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. The keyword is in the phrase style, since the function of CSS is to stylize or to decorate your pages. An HTML page can be compared to a person or rather to a person's skeleton. And we have a skeleton and now the basic elements which it consists of. So similarly, HTML shows what information is on the page and where it's located. So in other words, HTML answers the question, what does this page show? So text, pictures, tables, etc. Here at this picture we can see that this person has a head, arms, and legs. However, we don't know what this person is going to look like. So in the same way, HTML doesn't answer the question, how does this page look? So it's up to CSS to answer that question. If we apply CSS, we get a page similar to this person who has a certain skin tone, eye color, style of clothing, etc. So CSS stylizes a page. It sets the color of a text, changes its size, sets the color of the background, adds frames, and so on. You can see how CSS works if you visit the website CSS Zen Garden. This website has many different web pages, and all of them have the same exact HTML code. Let's, for example, open any two random pages. This page and this one are completely similar in terms of the HTML code. That is, the content is the same. For example, here the heading says beauty of CSS design, and here it says the same thing. Then it says demonstration of what can, etc., and here we also have demonstration of what can, and so on. So this is the same for every element, you can go ahead and check them out. That is, these two pages have completely identical HTML code. They look different only because of the CSS. Very soon you'll be able to do similar things. CSS, just like HTML, has evolved over the span of a few versions. The first version was called CSS1, and then there was CSS2, then CSS2.1, and finally CSS3. Currently, CSS4 is in active development, so it's possible we're going to be seeing it soon. But at the moment, CSS3 is considered the standard version for the web, and it's going to remain so for at least a number of years. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how CSS works and how to connect to it. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.